What's going on guys, it's Zigzag here, and today I'm giving you guys a very short explanation of the four Google camera generations. So here we are in the first location, and this is a generation one camera. So generation one is extremely blurry and easy to tell apart from the other camera generations, and it's pretty much only found in Australia and the United States, although Australia does have a fair bit of it. So as you can see, it is just very blurry, you can barely read the writing on signs, and you shouldn't get it too much anyway. All right, I found a handy little location to demonstrate the next three uh, camera generations here. So this is generation two. Generation two is quite old, so that all the images are over 10 years old. And you can see, firstly, there is a wide blur at the bottom. So the blur is basically a perfect circle and it goes the whole way around the car. And I'm gonna, lo I'm gonna link this uh, location in the description so you can go and test out um, exactly what it's like uh, to see these different generations. So there's a big circle of blur and then you look up and there's a halo. And so the, you can see the sky here is blue and it becomes a bit more purple up here. And the uh, sun, has all these different rays shooting out of it, and oh, this is this is what you normally see, and there'll be little dots uh, around the place, and it will create like a halo effect above the head. Right, and you won't, normally won't be able to see any of the car either. Right, jumping over here, this is a generation three location. Right, so first things first for generation three, it's a lot clearer, and you'll often see that you've got a car here, and so this one, is one of the Generation 3 cars. There are many, many. Probably most of the Google coverage is Generation 3. And you can see it's got an antenna. You can see a little bit of the white car and a red light there. Uh, it is a bit less vibrant than Generation 4, which is what we're about to get to. But the biggest difference between it and Generation 4 is how the sun is. So I'd say in Generation 3, the sun is a little bit more realistic. This is more like what you'd see in real life. The rays are relatively small and it's relatively normal looking. Uh, and so now we're going to jump over here in the street, and you can see we're into Generation uh, 4 now. So Generation 4 is super vibrant, the colours are super nice, the, the blue is a bit m more, and importantly, here we have a big blob where the sun is. And this is probably, in my opinion, the best way to tell beyond a reasonable doubt whether it's Generation 4, because you'll just see the sun just taking up a massive amount of the um, uh, sky and it will often blend into the clouds like it is here. Even if it's up here, you'll see just like it'll, 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 it definitely looks different. So I recommend you um, go into Google Maps and just try and figure out what each one is. And uh, yeah, if you just go hop, skip and jump from this intersection, the generation three, and then back over to here in the generation two, uh, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully that has uh, sorted out your problem if you didn't know what how to differentiate them. Um, and of course, you always get it wrong sometimes, um, but it is worth knowing. And so finally, uh, the reason that it's worth knowing is because, of course, some countries do and don't have generation 3, 2, and 4. Uh, so for example, Brazil has generation 3 and 4. And, you know, it tends to be that richer countries, North America, Europe, Oceania, uh, Far East Asia, they all have a bit of Generation 2 in there because they were covered earlier than some of the poorer countries. Um, but it is just really useful to know um, these things. And just to end off the video, guys, I've brought up two links here to show the difference between the Generation 2 and 3 Sun. Here is the Generation 3 Sun. You can see that it has a more natural look to it. Also, the lens has flared a little bit in this example. And here's the Generation 4 sun. You can see it's like a, it's just like a big, like opening in the sky of pure white light. Whereas this kind of looks more like the sun in real life, I would say. Um, so yeah, this is this should be quite obvious. Um, definitely click the links in the description to uh, familiarize yourself with it. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and have a good one.